yeah, folks, the Nintendo Switch is perfectly fine for this holiday. In fact, they're probably perfectly fine for the next couple of years, Switch Pro or not. Uh, but before we get into that, I want to remind you to enter our giveaway for oh, Final Fantasy Crystal Chronicles Remastered. That's right, folks. You can win a copy of the game for PlayStation 4 or Nintendo Switch. To enter, all you have to do is comment on this video, like the video, subscribe to the channel, hit that bell icon. You can do that on every video in the month of August here. And at the end of the month, the winner will be announced. That being said, we are also on our road to 50,000 subscribers. And if we can hit 50K subscribers on this YouTube channel before November, well, we'll give away a PlayStation 5, an Xbox Series X, or a Nintendo Switch in that month. If we don't hit 50k by that month, uh, we obviously won't be doing that giveaway. Uh, but whenever we do hit 50k, there will obviously be some sort of something special, even if it's not that crazy. All right, folks, before I get into this, I need to obviously explain what the hell competing even means. Because, yes, there's actually a few areas where it's simply a fact the Switch has already lost in any sort of direct competition with the upcoming PlayStation 5 and Xbox Series X. For starters, uh, Switch is going to have a massive power gap with those two platforms. Switch is not going to get full AAA multi-platform support either. Both of these points are actually already true of this current generation, if we're completely honest, but it's likely going to get even worse over the next few years in terms of that third-party support. Of course, it's also true that the PlayStation 5 nor the Xbox Series X are portable gaming platforms. And in that space, Switch doesn't really have any true competitors. So while they have those major advantages, they don't actually replace one of the main appeals of the Switch platform. So already, I guess if you're keeping tally, that's two wins for the other guys and one for Nintendo. But see, I'm not talking about who is going to win the next generation of gaming. Nintendo's technically already off to a great start, and it gets really confusing when you throw the Wii U in the mix, but who knows? Winning is often just determined by sales figures. PlayStation 5 could outsell the Switch at the end of it all. It could have more software sales as well. So could the Xbox Series X for that matter. But see, being in position to compete doesn't really mean you're going to win in the classic sense of the word. What it does mean, however, is you're not going to be forgotten about or left behind. See, Nintendo already owns this year. Did you know they have seven published games in 2020 for Switch through the month of July? Ha! I bet you didn't even realize they had that many, that much, well, I guess that big of an output this year. Sure, three of those games are quote-unquote ports, but they also had four new games. One free-to-play involving jump roping. One all about classic games like board games and stuff. Another shattering sales records by the day. And the last one that's been getting well, mixed feelings from the Nintendo community. But beyond that, the Switch itself has actually crossed 60 million in sales. Maybe 70 million when the year comes to a close. Who knows? But see, Nintendo still has many aces up its sleeve. Now, just in terms of the games we already know about, they already exist and have been confirmed. We have Breath of the Wild 2, somewhere on the horizon. Also, Metroid Prime 4. Hmm, what about No More Heroes 3? Shin Megami Tensei 5 just had a trailer. That's going to be coming next year. Bravely Default 2. Well, well it's Square Enix. Ah, it's published by Nintendo. Pikmin 3 Deluxe. Bayonetta 3. And these are just like the announced games. Obviously, there's going to be more than that. We could easily get a Mario Kart 9. Uh, that mystical 35th anniversary Mario collection that supposedly exists. Uh, we presume Mario 3D World's coming over as well at some point. <sighs> Kirby, for crying out loud, is actually overdue for a game. Because they've been on a yearly release slate for that franchise for quite some time. Pokemon is obviously going to have another game too this generation. At least one. I know they're doing DLC this year, but I mean, come on. There's going to be at least one more Pokemon game on Switch. The reason I mention the games is because the other platforms do not effectively replace what the Switch provides gamers. And it's games that are going to keep the platform going over the next few years. And Nintendo still has several big guns in the barrel. Or bullets, or 
whatever you want to call it. Hell, we just had a Mario game in year one. That should line up well for a potential Mario game in year four or five. And because the pandemic may have caused some first party games to actually get delayed out of this year, it should make 2021, mm -hmm, the first full year of PlayStation 5 and Xbox Series X, a pretty packed one for the big N. Because Nintendo has already captured a huge chunk of the market and a huge mind share of many gamers. Now, it's on Nintendo to not let that momentum go, of course, once we turn to 2021. I don't know if that means Nintendo Directs. I don't know what it means, to be completely honest, but they have to give us something. And yes, while Wii U ports have been a plenty on Switch, we can't ignore that the Wii U install base was just 13 million. And I know 13 million is a lot if we're talking about how much dollars are in our bank account. Not that much when it comes to actual console sales. For a majority of the Switch's audience, there are actually brand new releases for them. Sure, you will hear a vocal minority sound off about how they're overpriced, and maybe I even agree in some cases. But in the end, for a majority of the audience, they're none the wiser, and may not have even been aware of what the hell a Wii U is. Still to this day, when it's brought up, my mom thinks it's just an accessory for the Wii. Nintendo also, to their credit, does a really great job keeping the Wii U name out of the marketing material. I mean, think about that. The Wii U is basically not even mentioned when these games are brought to Switch. Might as well just be a new release at that point, right? And it's fair to worry, of course, about the attention the other platforms are going to garner heading into launch and shortly thereafter. But Nintendo already has the market's eyes on them right now. And while we Nintendo fans are sitting at home and clamoring for a Direct and some big announcements even for next year, if not this holiday... Reality is Nintendo's momentum is likely not in danger of stopping for many more months to come, even if they don't announce anything else the rest of the year. Which of course they will, because they promised more partner showcase directs in the future. So, long story short, what the hell are we worried about as Nintendo fans, right? Oh, we don't know about all the big games coming? We know about plenty, we just don't know when, and in the end, what are we even scared of? What, what's, the, what's the problem? What um, PlayStation 5, Xbox Series X? I honestly think we are heading into potentially the greatest gaming generation of all time. And I don't say that lightly because there's been a lot of amazing generations of gaming. But to be honest, I think this holiday, I think next year, and I think even the year after, everybody wins. I think Xbox fans win. I think PlayStation fans win. And I think Nintendo fans are going to win. I actually think for a couple year period, everyone's going to be successful. And that's a wonderful, wonderful thing. So if you're worried that Switch isn't going to survive this holiday, that it can't get past the PlayStation 5 and Xbox Series X, what the hell are you... Are you paying attention to what the hell's going on? Heck, this isn't even getting to the fact that they could do a Switch Pro. I'm just throwing that out there. Switch 2 could be iterative, but more powerful and backwards compatible. I, we don't know what the hell Nintendo is going to do. But what we do know, and from what we can gather based on announced games so far, Switch still has a bright future ahead, and it isn't going anywhere just because next-gen systems are coming out or just because we haven't had our Direct in almost a year. Anyways, folks, I am Nathaniel Ruffle Jans from Nintendo Prime. I want to remind you to enter our giveaway by commenting, subscribing, hitting that bell icon, liking the video, all that jazz. Obviously, help us get to 50K. Share this video around. Hopefully, you enjoyed it. If you didn't enjoy it, that's okay. Go down in the comments, type away. Let me know what you didn't like, where I messed up, where you think I'm wrong. It's cool. I like having debates with you guys all the time. And you know what? I'm going to catch each and every single one of you in the next video, which I don't know, actually. You know what? You should go subscribe to my other channel. Um, I have another channel at youtube.com slash user slash Nate Jance, N-A-T-E-J-A-N-C, uh, because if you're into sports, it's a great channel to follow because I'm going to start putting some regular sports content out there, probably talking more about my local teams at first, but then I'll start expanding uh, into other stuff as well because I actually am interested in sports in general, not just in my own local teams that I'm a fan of. All right, that's really all I have to say. Thank you guys for tuning in, and whew, I'll catch you guys in the next video.